Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video where we're gonna talk about Adobe XD. The goal of this video is to understand the interface of Adobe XD as well as to get familiarized as much as possible with the tools that are available. Now many times you'll feel that these tools are quite familiar from Illustrator, Photoshop or Sketch wherever you have those experience but in case not it's pretty simple and easy. And also the good news is that we can cover up all almost all of these tools the first look in just one video so that means they are really uh, like not a lot of them and you're gonna love them so this is the first look obviously you can just fire that up using your cloud and all of that so that's gonna be pretty easy where did my adobe xd went up there we go so this is your first screen they changed that quite a lot so probably in the future it might get changed a little bit but, but one thing that's gonna stay here for like a really really long time is a start new design so here you can see it says we can directly start with the artboard. I will talk about what is artboard in a minute. Just bear with me. So it says you can start with an artboard of iPhone, iPad, web or custom design. Now don't get jealous with that. It can also support everything for Android as well. If you click on this small teeny tiny arrow bar, uh, it says it can support Android devices as well or all the iPhones. Uh, for the iPads as well as tablets, Surface Pros, all of that are also here. There's a web presets as well and there's a custom size as well. So you can just keep a number here like probably 1000 by 1000 and you can go with that. So let's just go and start with an iPhone that and we're going to talk about what is this artboard. So if I'll just click on this guy, now it's going to take me to the artboard screen. Now first of all, let's talk about what are these artboards. Now artboard are the places where actually you design everything and it's something like you might have heard about in other application as canvas or it's your actually the working area. So this is our very first artboard. Now let's try to utilize as much as of the screen uh, real estate that we have. There we go. So this is your interface and as you can see there are not like much of them that we have. This is our really simple artboard and you can move that. So this is the place where you'll be actually working. Now, this is known as artboard. You might be referring that as a canvas in other application. Now, as you can see on the very left hand side, we just have like a few tools, very, very less in number as compared to Photoshop, Illustrator, and they are not hidden anywhere. They are just, that's it. <laughs> These are only that one. And the most important one is gonna be the first one which you'll be using quite a lot. It's a select tool. The shortcut is V. And I would highly recommend to pay attention on the shortcuts because we'll be using them quite a lot through our keyboards. It's far more efficient so the first thing is V okay and uh, the second one is your rectangle tool uh, which is R for shortcut you can select that and you can draw some of the rectangles there okay now while drawing the rectangle we will be coming back onto the rectangles and all these things and how you can maximize all these potential now notice here on the right hand side now the right hand side menu is purely context sensitive like if you're going to select artboard it's going to give you uh, let me press v here for my vector and if i just notice here i select this artboard it gives me all the op options related to artboard when i select my rectangle it gives me option for rectangle and just below the rectangle there is an uh, oval tool also known as eclipse ellipse in uh, uh, adobe xd in sketch you might have heard about these uh, ovals with the o but here the shortcut is e okay don't get confused here if i'm referencing quite a lot about sketch so this is your eclipse and the shortcut is again e make sure you remember the shortcut and just drag and drop that so notice here now your all the options on the right hand side are getting changed based on that again press the v to select anything else and just like that so this option is quite handy we're going to talk quite a lot in detail about this and the next thing is line really simple we all know what the line does and how we can have the straight lines and all of that we will again revisiting each of them uh, so don't worry too much just have a feel have a look enjoy this video and the next thing that we have if i just press v here is this pen tool now this pen tool the shortcut is p is the amazing it's really powerful you can have variety of designs curves and a lot of that we will be doing a lot of things so that we can master this tool this is essential if you want to do anything in design mastering the vector tool pen tool whatever they call them it is really really important to take a feel that how it works don't worry we will be going back onto that now here's a quick sidebar for all of you in adobe xd this pen tool was not borrowed from photoshop or illustrator it was redesigned completely to meet the need of prototyping on a mobile app or a web so it's written from the scratch and it's totally worth it i like it totally and the next one is your text tool. 
Now, a lot of people think that the text tool is like just text tool might be borrowed from somewhere, but no, this is also rewritten completely from scratch in Adobe XD. Now, there are two types of text and probably we'll talk about a lot more about text and how we can have effective test text uh, in our application later on. Just keep in mind, there are two types of text in Adobe XD. We'll be working on with that later on. Right now, let's just have something like probably hello world. Most of the designers don't write that, but we do that. So, and you can just press this and can have like really big one. Uh, so we'll be working on that later on. Okay. Now, if you go up here, notice this guy says artboard and this you'll be using quite a lot. Now, when you select artboard on the right hand side, again, since it's context sensitive, it gives you a lot of pre uh, presets here like iPhone X, uh, Android, Surface and web and all of that. Now, on top of that, you can also drag and drop this. And if you want to have like something customized, you can have that. Probably let's just say you want to have an artboard by 300 by 300. So you can have that. Not at all a big deal. You can have it anytime. You can also save these things if you are using that quite a lot. Let's just say I make a lot of YouTube videos and for that I have a fixed resolution to make so I can save that my artboard there. So this is here. Now the final tool we are going to talk about is our zoom tool. Now zoom tool, as you all know, it's pretty powerful. The shortcut is still same as for most of the Adobe, which is your Z key or the Z key on your keyboard. You can drag and just select an area to have a zoom like that. But I would highly recommend to remember the shortcuts for that. And the shortcut is command zero to fit everything on your screen. There is a command one as well for 100%. And there's a command two as well for 200%. For all those guys who are on Windows, I'm talking here about control keys. So control zero and control one and control two are the ones I'm talking about here. You can also go into the view menu and can check out your shortcuts like obviously command plus or control plus is there. Command one, command two and uh, command zero are gonna be the most useful one which we'll be using quite a lot. Like let's just say you're in this situation, you might want to press command zero to see everything on your screen. So these are like your basic tools. See, I told you they are a really, really small one, but you can do pretty much anything, any shape, any vector that you want to design here. Now in the upcoming videos, we are gonna talk about what is the difference between uh, the web-based artboards and iPhone artboards and some of the advice that I can give you that on what sheets you should be designing, what kind of grid layout and all of that. But I think this is a good start. I hope it was a fun video knowing about that. Now here's a quick assignment for all of you if you want to follow along with me. Just take any pen or paper and just, just when I say it afterwards, stop the video, uh, just complete it and then just write it on a piece of paper. Just notice that here that this is your first vector tool or selection tool. Uh, just press, just note down that the shortcut is V for that. Rectangle is R shortcut. This is your ellipse tool. This is E. Line tool is L. Your pen tool is P. Your text tool is T. Your artboard is A, very, very easy to remember, and your zoom is Z or Z. So make sure you write down them on some piece of paper. They are so small a number, you can remember them, and they're gonna save tons of time to you. So here is my advice, make sure you remember them by heart. It is really important. So that's it, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and we're gonna catch up in the next video.